General Overseer of the Face-to-Face -face Assembly Worldwide, Teacher of God's Word, Apio Vera, has called on Christians worldwide to be more prayerful as the COVID-19 lockdown disrupts church services, even as Christians celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ on Easter Sunday tomorrow. That we are here because uh, whatever we are seeing now is prophetically written. The coronavirus, the absence of people in the church was actually written in the book of Daniel. That the time will come that cities and sanctuaries will be desolate. Daniel chapter 9, verses 25 to 26. It was also written in Revelation chapter 6, verses 5, 6, 7, 8, and even to 9. That there will be nine seas, and these nine seas will be powered by four horses. And one of them will be called death. And that one of the third horse will be carrying the pay horse, will be carrying death, hell, and it will kill with sword, it will kill with hunger, it will kill with the beast. And of course, the beast is what we regard as coronavirus. Now, these are prophetic guidelines. They call it apocalyptic guidelines before the coming, the second coming of Jesus Christ. Tomorrow is uh, Easter Sunday. It is the right of the believer to celebrate their Lord that day. That day is the only day that differentiates you from other religion. That day is what gives our faith a difference that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rose from the grave. That is our benefit. That is our trademark. But it's unfortunate that people will not be in church tomorrow. So my message for you, Christians, is to calm down and understand that the only way now is to consult the Holy Spirit, who will tell you what to do next. Jesus said he's not going to leave us alone. He said he's going to send the Holy Spirit to comfort us. And all we need now is comfort. So we tell the Holy Spirit to comfort us this season. I cannot specifically tell you what to do. I don't have the mandate. The Holy Spirit has a mandate to tell you what to do. And every believer is entitled to the Holy Spirit. He said when you believe, the Holy Spirit will follow you. He, however, implored government to be lenient in disrupting church activities as a church is needed in these trying times. Now, you can say, don't let your garden be more than 10, but don't say you want to shut the gate of God's house. Remember that he's immortal. Is invisible. Remember that these people are going there to they're worshiping him. So if you are preventing them, that was what happened to Aaron. That was happened to those first government people. So you can give them this leverage and say, Man of God, please, we need to educate you. Uh, we cannot shut the, the church of God. You understand? Yes. So, just, so you don't you don't close the churches. You tell them use your mind. Because I cannot open my mind because you're a Christian. Okoa is a Christian. The deputy governor is a Christian. The speaker is a Christian. You are a Christian, I'm a Christian. So we should know that when we die, remember we'll go back to meet this man that was shutting this gate. So we tell them that let us use our mind though. And uh, please, churches should be, you should use our mind, but there should be this procedure before you come, wash your hand, sanitize your hand. The truth is let's not take church as a case study. Let's not play politics with it. The sensitization is poor. The people don't, some people will still call it that it's a scam. I pray for Christians in Nigeria and the whole world that the hand of God will rest upon you all. I pray that God should have mercy, that these two weeks will end with that, with that extension. I pray that we should go back to gain, that our city will be married, our city will be Bela, our city will not have life again. I pray that our children will go back to school. I pray that business will wake up again. I pray that the third sea that was opened should end. I pray that people should now understand, which we all know now, that God is the only source of life. It shall be well. It shall be well. In a short while, it shall be over. And I believe God that um, and the Bible says, surely there is an end. So we believe in God. We are looking forward to this end. I thought some two days ago at the internet, I said from prison to praise and from prison to palace. We, we are all in the prison and we live here to praising God. I believe God that if God touches the authority, they will tell people to go to church, but put some strategic guidelines on how they can watch Jesus. But if the message does not come, this is my advice for you. Obey the law, obey government, obey whatever you see, but don't forget to worship God. Stay and worship God and lift your hands and worship God and enjoy the presence of God. God bless you. God make his face shine over you. God keep you. God be gracious to you in the name of Jesus. Welcome to your Easter. God bless you. Jesus, holy name.